Hello guys, it's Simon here with this uh, $10 helicopter that's been glitching and crashing so a uh, little apprehensive about this uh, several points of note it's uh, rather windy today so might be forced into giving the aerobatics a miss and secondly this helicopter's got glass fibre blades on now it's got the $3 Hobby King GF325 blades on uh, I'm afraid it's eaten all my uh, stock of carbon fibres with its various incidents so uh, it'll have to uh, wear these until it's proved some reliability Yes, sadly on Sunday I've got my little nephews around and I was showing them it in the back garden and on takeoff it took off by itself, dumped itself down, took off, dumped itself, took off, dumped itself and on the third dump hit a pile of bricks that I was constructing a ramp for the radio controlled car with so uh, bugger proper bugger so we'll see what that's like uh, I can't replicate the glitch on the bench it's weird oh I hope the uh, transmitter from the car wasn't interfering I know that certain brands are said to interfere with these flies guys I'll have to have a read up could have been it yeah well, I get more blade flutter with the, these uh, glass fibers. Definitely. In fact, before I even took off, I could see the blades wobbling about in the wind. Oh well, it appears to work. I think nose in will be a challenge. Good luck, it is. <laughs> so for that. Right, it works, so let's land, and the question is, will it remain working? If you can hear a slight cyclic noise, I've uh, got, put the old crashed main gear back on, it wasn't too badly damaged, and I tidied up a few frayed bits with a uh, hobby knife. So it's probably not as smooth as it usually is, but there's no point putting new parts on until I've got to the bottom of this glitching. Or at least it's got it out of its system. That wind's wicked. Well, I think we can say, so far so good, but a long way to prove itself yet. Bye for now.